Today I'm going to show you how to install a replacement O-ring kit on an Airmar Triducer multi-sensor insert. In this particular case, it's a Model B744V, but the same principle applies no matter what. So, first thing you want to do is you want to note the orientation of the existing O-rings. In this case here, you'll see these three upper O-ring grooves are not populated, only the bottom two are. And again, that's factory design. You want to make sure that you don't install O-rings into spots where the factory did not install them. So here we're going to start with the lower O-rings. I always start with the highest O-ring first. That way there, as you're traveling down the, the sensor, you don't damage the second O-ring. I'm using a pick tool here. If you don't have a pick tool handy, you could easily use um, a paper clip. Just bend it into a form that works well for you. So by simply getting underneath that O-ring and working it out of that groove, I can then just roll it down off the sensor. I'm going to match that up to a new size in my kit, making sure I discard the old one. And being careful not to cut it here on these wheels, they can on these uh, fins, they can be pretty sharp. I'm going to gently stretch that O-ring over the housing and then just roll it into that position. You'll see I can roll right over the bottom O-ring and into that groove. I'm going to repeat the steps for the second and lowest O-ring. In this case here, again, there's only two. I'm going to remove that second one by working it out of the groove, and then I can just roll it off the sensor with my finger. I'm going to match up a new O-ring in the kit to make sure that the size is relatively there. Discard the old. And again, being careful not to cut the O-ring on these sharp plastic tabs. I'm going to roll it into position, and I've replaced both O-rings. So there I'm just going to make sure the fit in the groove is good. Last step would be to apply silicone grease, and that's ready for reinstallation. Same applies to the blank plug. I'll notice that there is a blank o-ring groove here at the top. Again, by factory design, it's not intended to have an o-ring in there. Maybe in another application, but I'm always going to match it up to what I'm taking out. So again, pulling the highest o-ring, I'm going to insert my pick tool underneath there, work it out of its groove, roll it off, making sure that the new o-ring matches up. I will discard the old o-ring so there's no confusion. Install the new one. Repeat that one more time, and we'll be ready to get back on the water. And there you have it. Again, silicone grease, and that is ready for reinstallation.